Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome to Posey Lane. If you're brand new here at Posey Lane, we like to do fun, easy, doable crafts. New videos come out every week, so make sure to hit the subscribe button so you're the first to be notified when new content is out. If you're returning, I'm so glad that you're back and that we get to craft together again. I've really been enjoying using the fall themed items at the Dollar Tree to make crafts. And this week we're gonna be making four fall crafts with rub-on transfers that are from the Dollar Tree. I found some really cool ones. It seems like there's two different types. There's one that's like a sticker sheet and then there's also ones that are just like a big giant sticker. I have several ideas I'm gonna show you today. I have done similar crafts before but when I use the Dollar Tree rub on transfers it really transformed the craft and adds such a fun twist that I know you're going to enjoy. Let's start with a simple craft. We're gonna be taking this rub on transfer that says pumpkin spice and everything nice and decorating this mug that I found from the Dollar Tree. I like that it's really flat, so I think it'll be really easy to apply the rub on transfer. Before we place this sticker onto the mug, I just wanted to give a couple of tips that this is not removable. When you place it, you really wanna make sure you like where you're putting it because this is a one and done. The other thing is that you need to have a clean, smooth surface to put it on. I know that I like the placement and so it's ready to take the backing off. And once you have the backing off, you'll notice that this is sticky and you don't want to accidentally press it on anything else because it will mess up your sticker. To place it down, you just use your thumb and just work it over all of the different areas. As I peel this off, I'm just going really slowly and making sure as it's coming off, I don't see anything actually coming off with the backing. It's time to add the candy to the mug and I'm gonna be using a treat bag from the Dollar Tree. I always just keep these on hand. I've also seen treat bags at Walmart and they're actually cheaper at Walmart, but I have a stash of these. And then we'll just finish it off by tying it with juke cord. Sometimes you find an item at the Dollar Tree that just has so many applications. And for me, the mini crate is one of them. I've used them in several different videos and everything always comes out so different and it's so fun to use. Today we're gonna be decorating it with these leaf rub-on transfers. I love the way that they look like fall. And then we're gonna be making an arrangement in it using this hay bale and leaves. They're also from the Dollar Tree. We're gonna be painting the mini crate one of my favorite ways to paint with brown paint. We're gonna be making a wash using equal parts brown paint and water. And this is milk chocolate chocolate acrylic paint. What I love about using this mixture is that it makes it look like I've used a stain. And so when I apply it, I use a rag just like you would with a stain instead of using a brush. When you're painting these mini crates, there's a couple areas that sometimes I forget to paint and that's the inside of these handles and the top and also these little grooves. If an area looks too light to you, you can always just go back over it with more of the wash. We're gonna be decorating the front of this mini crate with several of the leaves from this ribbon transfer sheet. When you have a sheet like this, you wanna cut out whatever you're intending to transfer individually, and that way you don't accidentally transfer something that you don't mean to. I'm using a popsicle stick to help make sure that I transfer it, but if you don't have a popsicle stick, you could probably use just your thumbnail as well. After placing the leaves, I decided it needed a little bit more filler. I noticed these little dots on here, so I'm just adding a few of these groupings of dots to make it feel more full. To finish the mini crate off, we're gonna be adding this hay bale. And then I'm gonna take some of the leaves off of here and arrange them around the hay bale. We're gonna be making another quick and easy craft. I've seen these metal tins at the Dollar Tree for like a year and I finally have a great idea for it. We're gonna be decorating the front of it with this rub-on transfer that says, happy fall y'all. And then we're gonna be making an arrangement with these flowers that I also found from the Dollar Tree. We're gonna be adding the happy fall y'all rub-on transfer. And I noticed that there's a big seam. I don't want that to be in the front or even show when I'm placing it. So I'm just making sure that that is my back. And to put the transfer on, I just have two books that I'm sandwiching so that this doesn't roll around. 
I did notice the Dollar Tree had two or three other fall designs. I just really thought this Happy Fall, y'all, was really cute. I think one of the keys to putting the rub-on transfers on is just to be patient and make sure that you really are transferring it all and don't feel rushed. I did have a little bit of this rub-on transfer that was being stubborn, so I ended up getting a popsicle stick to help transfer it. When I make an arrangement, I look for three things. The first is I want to have something that adds height, and I thought these yellow flowers were perfect to add some height. And then I look for a focal flower, and I really love these mums and this cream and yellow. And then the last thing that I look for is a filler, and these burnt orange flowers are perfect for filler. Sometimes when I make an arrangement, I cut all the bushes apart, but I think that I want this to kind of look like flowers that are being sold maybe in a farmer's market. And so I'm trying to keep all of the bushes intact. So I'm just gonna layer the taller flower and then the fill of flower and put the focal flowers in the front. There are a lot of unique wood cutouts at Dollar Tree right now in different shapes and sizes. And I fell in love with this acorn sign. I think that it's so unique. I haven't seen anything like this anywhere else. We're gonna be decorating it and giving it dimension with this galvanized harvest sign. It came in a three pack, but harvest was my favorite word that came in the pack. And then the last thing that we're gonna do to finish it off is add some rub-on leaf transfers. When you use unfinished wood from the Dollar Tree, sometimes it looks a little rough. And so I'll look at both sides and pick which side looks the best. If you notice, this side has some just darker spots and like a, maybe an imperfection there. So I'm gonna use this as the front. And to prep it, we're just gonna take this hanger off and then we'll paint it with this raw sienna acrylic paint. When you paint signs like this, I always try to make sure to paint the edges too because it's pretty thick and it will pop out at you if it's not painted. Plan to only use one coat of this brown paint because I don't want the acorn to be too dark so that we can see the rub-on transfer leaves. I do like the galvanized metal of this harvest sign, but I'm not sure if it will show up as well on the darker acorn. So we're gonna be using this chalk paint and ink to paint it black. When I painted the harvest sign, it kind of dried where you can see some of the metal, but I think that looks really rustic and is totally appropriate for fall. I'm gonna put this as a center piece for the sign, so I wanna make sure to place that down first and I'll secure it with hot glue, and then I'll figure out my placement of my leaves. My plan for adding the leaves is to put them around the word harvest. I'll put a couple here and then I'll do it diagonally and put a couple down here. When I saw these Roman transfers at the Dollar Tree, I fell in love with all the details of the leaves. I tried to do groups of three, and I also tried to make sure that there were different colors and different shapes and different sizes. I'm gonna finish off the sign with jute twine from the Dollar Tree for my hanger. And then I made a very simple bow out of green ribbon I also found at the Dollar Tree. I love the way this pumpkin spice mug came out. I think it would be the perfect gift to give someone this fall and maybe add your favorite coffee shop gift card to it. I also love the way this came out. It was so simple and easy to make. And I think this mini crate, because of its size, would be perfect to add to a shelf or a vignette that you're decorating. This flower bucket is a perfect fall colors. It would just brighten up and cheer up any area that you put it in. And this sign, I love the way the darker warm tones look for fall. I can't wait to hang this on my door. Thank you guys so much for joining me this week. I had so much fun crafting with you and I can't wait to craft again.